So Xtool just sent me what is probably gonna become their most popular laser, the Xtool S1, the world's first class one safety certified enclosed dial laser. With swappable laser modules, a top engraving speed of 600 millimeters per second, it can fit materials up to 498 millimeters wide by 319 millimeters deep. It's got air assist, both Wi-Fi and USB-C connectivity, and it does an amazing job at engraving on curved surfaces. Now with a machine this large, I obviously need a new place for it instead of just letting it occupy my entire workbench. So coincidentally, my friends over at FlexiSpot was nice enough to send me their new E8 sit stand desk. And there are a bunch of different ways to customize it however you like, but I got mine with the black frame and a black desktop that measures 60 inches wide by 24 inches deep. And with their dual motors that can support up to 352 pounds, it was perfect for both the x s one laser and my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. And with it all sitting next to my Onefinity CNC now, I guess this has sort of become the fabrication side of my shop. And because of that, there's obviously a lot of wires going on at the back. And thankfully, FlexiSpot also offers this nice wire management system to help me keep all of this organized and out of sight. And of course, this being a sit-stand desk, it gives me a lot of flexibility to work while sitting or standing, depending on what I'm feeling that day. So if you're looking to add a new work surface for your shop or office, check out my link in the descriptions and see how you can customize a FlexiSpot desk to fit your workflow. So the most exciting part of this machine is this phone closure as opposed to the open design that we normally see on other dial lasers including Xtool's own D1 Pro but aside from obviously keeping the smoke and fumes contained in here and then sucked out the back through an exhaust hose this guy is loaded with features so first of all for safety this lid has that same green tint on it that are usually used for the safety glasses that come with dial lasers to help block out that intense blue light so with this machine we technically don't need to wear those glasses anymore and additionally if we're in the middle of a job, the moment this lid is open, the laser will immediately stop. And then it's gonna resume again once the lid is closed without losing its position. So those two features, when you combine them together, makes this guy great for places that sees a lot of foot traffic, like a school environment or a maker space. That way we don't have to worry about people walking by or someone unknowingly open up the lid and get blinded by that laser. Um, and there's also a bunch of other safety features, including fire detection sensors on the inside. So we've got two in the back, two in the front and then one on the laser module. And they even sell an additional fire safety attachment that can extinguish fires when it's detected. And of course, there's a big red emergency stop button on the side. So I think Xtool really raised the bar in terms of safety with this guy. Um, on the inside, everything is metal, including the steel wheels that are on pretty much all Xtool machines. Really clean cable management with drag chains on both the X and Y axis. And the inside is lit up really well with LEDs on the back and in the front. Um, I'm gonna turn this off right now because you can probably hear that there's an exhaust fan going. It's not super loud, but it's definitely there. All right, so right here I have the 40 watt module installed, but we do have the option to swap that out with a 20 watt module or with a two watt infrared module. Um, in the end, whichever one you end up going with comes down to the type of work you're doing. So the 40 watt module obviously with its higher power, it's perfect for cutting through really thick materials. And just for fun, I did test this out on a piece of 18 millimeter thick walnut and just like x advertised, it was able to cut through that in a single pass once I maxed out the power and slowed it all the way down to one millimeter per second. Now I'm not really sure why anyone would use a laser to cut something this thick because as you can see it leaves behind a lot of burns that you would then have to clean off and also it's just not that fast but the options there if you need it. Now the 20 watt laser on the other hand since it only has half the number of diodes it produces a much smaller laser dot so it could be better for fine engravings but that's not to say that the 40 watt laser can't do fine engravings it's just that in certain situations the 20 watt might be the better option. And also, if you're looking to engrave on different types of metals and plastics, then the 2 watt infrared module is the one that you want to get. So having the ability to swap out the modules depending on what our needs are, it really opens up a lot of opportunities, which I think is a huge advantage to owning one of these machines. Um, on the side of the module here, and you probably saw this in one of the B-roll shots, there's this little removable block with a pin on it. And this is the machine's auto-focusing system, and it also has some of the positioning functions as well. 
And the way this works is once the material is in there, we just press a button on the computer and the module will lower until the pin touches the workpiece to get focused. And then it'll move to the back and reset the pin and we're good to go. It's super simple compared to the D1 Pro where we had to flip down a little arm and manually adjust the height of the laser module and just hope that it doesn't scratch our workpiece when we lift it back up. Um, as for engraving on curved surfaces, this probe will take Z distance measurements across a grid of points on that workpiece and then generate a contour from that. And with that information, the system can move the module up and down in order to hold the focus while it engraves across that surface. And I really wanted to test this out on this machine, but I didn't have a bolt to engrave on, so I just quickly modeled something up in Shaper 3D on my iPad and then cut it out on my OneFinity CNC. And I just wanted something where the curvature was pronounced enough so that you can really see in the video how that laser module is moving up and down following the contours of that workpiece. One thing to keep in mind though is that currently with the curved engraving function, the speed is maxed out at 30 millimeters per second. So unfortunately, we won't be able to take advantage of the entire range of speed that this machine's capable of. But take a look at how good this came out. Ignore the wood grain that's running through this, it's probably not the best type of wood for this work, but look how consistent engraving is across this entire surface. It's honestly really impressive how well this works. So to tell the machine where we want to place our engraving, the S1 uses a two-point positioning system instead of a camera. So basically what that is, is simply using two points on our workpiece to define the area that we want to engrave. So let's say that we want to engrave with within this rectangle that I laid out on this piece of basswood, what I would do is line up the red laser to the top left corner to take one measurement, and then do the same thing to the bottom right corner. And inside the software, we'll get a rectangle showing us exactly the area that we just defined. And then we just need to drop our design into that and start engraving. And just so you know, I've never used lasers with a camera positioning system before, so I can't really say which of these two methods is better, but I did use this two-point positioning system a bunch of times already with this machine and the engraving is always positioned exactly how it's shown on the computer. So I feel I can tell you with good confidence this method it's super precise. Um, another advantage with the S1 is the line of accessories that x sell to make this machine do even more. So we already talked about the laser modules that we can swap out but another big one is this air assist I've got sitting on top. So unlike the air assist for the D1 Pro this one is plugged directly into the back of the machine and it's powered by the laser so the airflow can be controlled either either by the software when we have this set to auto, or you can manually control it with the dial. So right now when you buy an S1, the air assist is packaged together with it, but I'm not sure if they're gonna keep doing that. So just in case when you're watching this video and they're not selling these together anymore, I highly recommend getting this because it's gonna leave you much better results for cutting operations, and it's gonna blow the debris away from the laser so that you don't have to clean it as often. Um, I also have their fume extractor hooked up to the exhaust in the back, which is something that you definitely wanna consider having Having if you're running this indoors or if you're particularly sensitive to smoke. A couple other accessories that I plan to get in the future is the riser so that we can increase the total depth capacity of this guy. And it's also something we need to get if we want to use their rotary for engraving on circular objects or with their conveyor for engraving on really long pieces, which is definitely something I'm gonna get into. But even then, just this machine alone, it can already do so much, right? We got the full enclosure, all the safety features, the 40 watt laser that can cut through 18 millimeter thick walnut in a single pass engraving on curved surfaces, which I think only the x S1 and their P2 can do. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not aware of any other lasers that have that capability. Um, also, with the autofocus system and the two-point positioning system, I feel it makes it really easy to learn and use this machine, even if you're completely new to lasers. And on top of that, with all the accessories you can add on later, this is pretty future-proof. It's gonna last you a really long time. So if you happen to be looking for your first laser or if you wanna upgrade your current one, I highly recommend the x S1. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to leave me one of these and let me know in the comments. And as always, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys in the next video.